In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Excel. We're going to be creating some spreadsheets from the TR55 worksheets. Now, um, once you log on to your Atlas's, Atlas account, you can actually use the Office 365 and get to their um, portals and you can use Excel here. If you don't have Excel at home, just start a new workbook. This is the current Excel online. I've actually got Excel uh, 2010 on my desktop and that's what I'll be using. But it's going to be the same type of commands. You'll see the same general formula with, with the data. So go ahead and get your, your Excel program started and then we'll start on the first worksheet. So what I've got here is I've already created the uh, spreadsheets that I want to show you how to do. I've got one for runoff um, and curve number, time of concentration, and I'll have as a homework assignment the graphical peak discharge one. So you'll do this one on your own. The other thing that I have in these spreadsheets are the data that are referenced in the, the worksheet. So I like to use um, a, uh, a thing called a uh, screen clipping it's in the Excel 2010 2017 but it's not in your um, the office 365 so I'll probably be posting the um, the pictures for you all to add into yours but I'm gonna go ahead and get started this is what we're gonna be going for and I'll show you how to do this so the first thing that I want to do is set up my sheet. So I'm going to go to view and just so I can see what a normal page layout looks like. When I click on view, I go to page layout. Now I've got, I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Um, I want to lay it out in a certain side. So I'm going to go page layout and I'm going to go margins. My margins, I'm going to customize. I like to have 0.5 I want to maximize the amount of area that I have on my margins, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and 0 0.5, all the way around on my margins. And then I'm going to click OK. Now I've got a little bit more room to work with. The thing that you can do on this, these pages is if you've already got something like a Word document or a uh, PDF, you can highlight information that's already on there and go Control C and then come over to your sheet and um, click on it. You can go Control V and print, put that, put that information there. Now the next thing that I want to do is I want to make sure I have a header that's always going to be the same. So I'm going to say Project. Uh, location and all it is is typing and clicking in cells so I'll go designed by checked by and then I'll put a date the other thing that I do is I like to have my information set up certain ways um, I use a lot of the alignment tools and I'll be using a lot of the font tools. So I'm going to highlight these two and I'm going to click here where I'm going to align the text to the right. The other things that I like to do is I like to uh, have whole cells being instead of like if I type a really long thing, see how it goes over multiple cells. I actually like to merge cells. So I highlight the cells that I want to merge and I come up here and I go merge cells. I do the same thing with that one. Um, the other thing that I like to do is to have it look like this sheet here is to have it underlined. And I'm not going to use the underline tool. What I'm actually going to use is this borders tool. And I'm going to put a border on the bottom and a border on the bottom. The other thing that I like to do to make it look nice is anything that I, I personally have to in, input and not calculate is I click and I fill the cell. You can put any color you want. I'm going to use this color here. Now, the other thing that I like to do is I'm going to go ahead and move this. So an example to move is I highlight both of the cells and when I go hover over it, you can almost see a uh, little cross. I can pull that, I'm left, grip, left um, mouse click and pull it over. Now the other thing I like to do is, is, like I said, I have my alignments. I've got it here. Right now there's no alignment on it. So if I push that alignment to the right, it allows me to uh, have a text aligned to the right. I'm going to do the same thing for this one. Okay, This is just to get everything 
organized and look nice. So all the highlighted information, you don't have to do this. I'm just showing you in different ways to set up your spreadsheets. Now the reason I'm being so meticulous about this is because when you do permits um, projects, then you want the spreadsheet to look nice and easy to read. So I'm going to say check, and I'm following this pretty good. Um, I'm going to put an underline here and an underline here, and I'm going to say pre-development and post-development. Now if I did an, a, um, an X here, I also want this, I'm going to highlight both of these, but I want these in the center. So now that looks pretty good. Okay, I want these two cells to be the left. So the project could be class project location. This project is going to be in Apopka. Okay, so those are left uh, justified. Okay, now the next thing that I want to do is I am going to highlight these cells and I am going to create a border on the bottom that has a double row. Okay, so I'm just highlighting this as, as we go along. So the first thing that I'm going to create is the runoff curve number. We're going to create this table here. Okay. Now on mine, I actually split the soils group, and I'll show you this. I split the soils group in half. So I did soil name and hydrologic, hydrologic soil group. So I'm going to go ahead and do that here. So I'll say soil name, and in the next one, I'm going to say hydrologic soil group. Okay. Now, in mine, I have the text wrapped. So up here is a wrap text. Now notice that the C is on this line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this over until that C gets down. The other thing in mine is you can see that mine's Calibri uh, 10. Well, you can highlight everything. You can come up, up here and highlight that and notice that it, it selects everything. And you can change the text size to 10. I keep it typically 10 because 11 and 12, I run out of space on my paper. All right. So the next thing is going to be the cover description. Now on this one, um, I'm actually going to write, I'm actually going to highlight this and you can highlight yours also. And I'm going to go control C and I'm going to go control V. That's a lot of information. So in mine, I actually highlighted three cells and then I did a merge. Okay. When I merged them, whoops, that actually typed in all the rows. Delete that. When I copy this, you can right click and copy depending on the Adobe and then you can right click and paste. That's another option. Um, but typically I go control C, control V. Now if yours comes in like this, just delete those extra spaces and make them all one line. I actually change this to text height 8 like that. And I'm going to pull this down, keep pulling it down. And then I'm going to merge the cells above it. So I highlight those three and I merge them. And I say cover description. Okay. Now, I'm not going to have three rows of curve numbers because the way this works is whichever is the controlling, which one ever has information in it, it multiplies it by. So if you're working with the worksheets um, from the NRCS, then if I typed in a different number, look how that goes away. So there's only one number that controls. So instead of putting three values in, I only put in one value. So I'm going to say CN and there is, notice there's an, um, a superscript one and a slash. So I'm going to put one in a backslash. Mine's not superscripted, but to do that, I'm going to highlight it up here and I'm going to pull this little arrow down and I'm going to go superscript and OK. Now on this one, I'm going to say table 2-2 figure 2-3, figure 
uh, 2-4. And I actually wrote or in between them. So you're actually going to look up on these tables or there's these figures, these values. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this text. So I'm going to wrap it and I'm going to change that to a text size 8. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do area. Area, parentheses, acres. I'm not going to worry about square miles, percentages. I'm just going to do straight up acres. Okay, and I'm going to wrap the text. Now, if yours is open, you'll see the some of these buttons get a little bit bigger. I'm just going to work with it this size just so I can keep looking back and forth. You can see where I'm going. So I wrap that text. Now the next one is going to be the product and I'm just going to say in CN times area. Okay. So now here's the other thing that I like to do. In these, in these cells here, um, I'm going to do a center. I'm going to click on the alignment on center. Sometimes you have to click it twice. Okay. In the next one, um, what else I like to do is I like to go ahead and have my um, area as a border. So I'm going to do all borders all the way around it. Now on this, I actually have this a little bit larger because the soil name might be a long name and I want to be able to hold all the information. I also make this one a little bit larger and I pull this up a little bit. I'm just trying to make this nice and neat looking. Now in the cover description I'm only going to have one description so I'm going to highlight these three cells and I'm going to click on this merge. Now the cool thing is that I can highlight this if I pull this down it allows me to copy that same style all the way down. Alright now I'm going to go ahead and um, leave this as is. Actually, I'm going to copy this down a few more times. Okay. Now, the information that you're going to be typing in is going to be, for example, these cells here. So, anything that you're going to input, you can input it here. And the next line um, is going to be an equation. So, I'm just going to type in, I'm going to show you my example here. And I'm going to type in the information. So I'm going to say Tavares, uh, whoops, and it's a soil group A. And I'm going to say Candler, and it's also an A, capitalize, and Candler, and capitalize that. It's an, oops, an A. Now here, I'll say it's a wooded area. It's a building is my cover description and pervious roadway. Now there is a, a per, pavement out there that is pervious. They, they've actually developed pavement that actually uh, soaks in water. So now I have to look at where that table is. Now as I go through here, usually I clean up my uh, spreadsheet. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure everything is centered again. I just like it. I, I like to keep things neat as I go along. So what I did to bring in the tables is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to create a table. I'm going to rename this sheet and I'm going to call it table 2-2. Okay. Now I have to go out and find that table 2-2. So I'm going to stop here and I'm going to show you um, where to get that. 